at its factory in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Lycoming makes thousands of Avgas aircraft engines every year, but it's also building the diesel, and this is it, the DEL-120. General Manager Mike Kraft recently gave Avweb a briefing on the new engine. Well, this is the DEL-120 engine, DEL Delta Echo Lima, for diesel cycle electronically controlled uh, inline configuration. 120 stands for 120 cubic inch displacement on it. Uh, Lycoming's been working on diesel engines for a very long time. This is probably the fifth aviation diesel project that we have. It's the first one that we've decided to industrialize. Uh, our, I would say this project dates back probably to the early 2000s. Uh, it really ramped up in the 2007 range and then the decision to industrialize it came late 2007, 2008. Uh, mainly uh, with the uh, financial difficulties that were happening at Teeler, uh, General Atomics needed a second source for the engine to ensure continuity of supply. That provided us a defined offtake customer for the engine, uh, which really triggered the point where Lycoming decided to industrialize it. Uh, the engine is not uh, specifically designed uh, for the General Atomics Gray Eagle. It actually is a 200 horsepower engine that would fit nicely into a, you know, everything from a Piper Archer to a 172 to a variety of aircraft models. And the full intent of it is to bring it to a civil certification. The UAV project just provided us a quick on-ramp on it. It's a, a, I would say, an automotive combustion chamber. Certainly with a some common alleys to the automotive layout for an inline four-cylinder. But the, the amount of engine that's left over from that standpoint of the combustion chamber is, is quite modified. You have a lot of aerospace alloys incorporated to get the weight out. Uh, you certainly have high power densities, a different duty cycle, and a, and a very significant change, which really dates back to the early 2000 time frame. It is, it is a ECU electronically controlled engine with a ECU that's designed for aviation applications. That project actually started with a company called DieselJet. Uh, in Italy, which has an EASA type certificate, but you know that was more of a technology program, and Lycoming came in and, and really took the industrialization piece of it forward and finished up the design for aviation application. In terms of the civil aviation variant of the engine, uh, we do intend to do that. We've actually started the background work on the certification plan, uh, and you know it, people think that that the UAV applications are somehow less stringent in terms of qualification than the than the civil applications. That actually, is not true particularly as the gross weight of the vehicle gets higher, you see a convergence in the requirements. So, you know, like Homing's view on diesel is very pragmatic. There's going to be a place for diesel engines and auto cycle gasoline engines for a very long time. Uh, there'll be early adopters of the technology. There'll be places in the world economy where it makes sense and places where it won't make sense. So we're, you know, we offer both technologies. Um, it'll be a you know, long, slow kind of rollout of, of diesel engines in aviation. Uh, there'll be a place for them, like there'll be a place for gasoline engines, and there'll be a, a technology offering that we support on both sides.